Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Chris and this is Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Uh, today we are going to jump into the meat of the game and uh, go to our first planet, Palavin. Uh, as you can see, clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Alright, so we're here. Uh, Serpent Nemula. Uh, that's where the Citadel is. Um, there's a Cerberus lab over there, but we're gonna wait on that. Um, today we're going to go to the Turians. Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Uh, blah blah blah. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait till you have completed a mission before returning. So that's that little pulse. Uh, but we're going to go to Minay, which is Palavin's moon. Alright, so everyone has uh, different appearances now. Um, I'm going to uh, dress Liara a little bit more for war. I don't like that one. Let's just leave James in his normal outfit. Okay. So James has some weapon mods here that we can put it into his shotgun. And he can benefit from the same mods that I bought for... Oh. For... I forgot you could... Like, move the gun around like that. Uh, he can benefit from the mods I bought for um, for my assault rifle. Okay, and that's the only SMG mod we have. Alright, James can get one more rank up in his carnage skill. And we're off. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Alright, let's not waste any time here. Let's throw on incendiary ammo. Alright. 
I always like that section because, like, it didn't feel like a waste to shoot the, the enemies while you're in the ship because you're actually clearing out your own landing zone. Alright, thanks, Liara. Okay, that's all he has to say. Well, I'm going to uh, take a look around here. Just to make sure I'm not missing anything. The old go where the game where the go where the game isn't telling you to go tactic. Alright, I want incendiary ammo on this thing too. Alright. So yeah, the Turians are uh are getting hammered as well. And they seem to recognize me. Well, that's not Reaper anyway. Hey! We got another sniper rifle. Okay. Tabastic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinth. Well, believe it, baby. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advance position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. All right. I see the comm tower to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go. So, uh, things have gotten a little complicated. The Primarch that we came here to get is dead. Sir, All right. So, we got the Mantis and the Viper. Nope, I didn't want either of those. Um, those are. Um, should be familiar for uh, those who watched Mass Effect 2. Yikes. Another shotgun. Just picking up loads of gear. Some pants. <laughs> All right. Up and on your left. The main 
Oh, was this actually the place I was supposed to go? Oop. Oh, yep, this is the way I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Good luck, thanks. I hear groaning. Oh. Let's get each of those guys cooking. Alright. So we gotta fix this comm tower. A. Hey. You got it, Liara. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. Oh my gosh, James. <sighs> I look away for two seconds, man. One of the things I really like about Mass Effect 3 is that uh, we've been, we, but like our character has been telling people that this war is coming for so long and no one has really believed us, but when push comes to shove and the war actually does show up on our doorstep, uh, because you're the one who's been telling everyone, hey, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen. Um, Ah! <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, um, because you're the one who's been saying, hey, this is going to happen, uh, it, everyone just kind of lets you show up and Go take ahead. control. So like when we walk into a Turian camp, they're like, hey Shepard, uh, we could really use your help here. You're like, yeah, sure, what do you need? <laughs> and people just, you kind of get that respect instantly. Missions have a different cadence in this one than they do in, in 2. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Oh. <gasps> Garrus. Garrus? Motherfucking Vicarian. Sir, I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palamon. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liar. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? 
on Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. <laughs> Just like old times, Garrus. Let's level you up, buddy. Right, we want force. More force. And, uh... Let's do that. Then we want overload. Alright. We should be good to go. Uh, hello? Oh, the other way. My bad. But yeah, a lot of the, um... Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, it's all... Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Marauder! Oh my goodness! Uh, the cadence of the missions is different in Mass Effect 3 than it is in 2. Mass Effect 2 was very much point A to point B, get the job done, get out. Uh, Mass Effect 3 is definitely more... Oh, and then this happens, and then uh, this happens, and then we gotta go over there. Like, it's... the missions are as complicated or as simple as they need to be. So, like, here we're, like, coming back to base camp, we're, like, running around, we're... We're doing all sorts of things. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Holy hell. I should not be out here. <laughs> oh, oh. I need to leave. So close. Ah, jeez. All right. It's trying to look for stuff out there that I got stuck. There's a bunch of marauders responding in. That was not good for me. Uh, hi. Bye.
I'm gonna go over there. There's cover over here, and it looks like maybe something to pick up. Ooh, cash money. Love that. I feel like I always want to upgrade everything in this game, so money is usually pretty tight. Um, towards the end of the game, <clears throat> in one of the DLCs, they add uh, an arena where you can um, compete for like tokens, uh, which you could exchange for prizes, and then if you want, you can also exchange those tokens for cash. So, uh, and those since those are infinitely repeatable, uh, you basically have an infinite source of cash, but that's, again, towards the end of the game, so. I think we're done here. Just gonna take a peruse through the battlefield, like I was trying to do before. Okay. Besides those supplies, I don't think there's anything else. So let's go back. Excuse me? Airfield. Okay. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Alright, I've tried to go up this ladder several times, and now it is finally down. Oh, snap, we got some turret action. James is having a good time. Okay, come on. Who's Garrus is having a good time. Garrus is always having a good time, though. This is a beefy sounding turret. I like it. So yeah, I don't know what you pictured the war with the Reapers like, but uh, this is this is pretty much it. Oh, good job, guys. I tried to dodge out of the way, but I was not in time. The Brutes are, uh, part Turian, um, part Krogan, I want to say? Oh, and by the way, when they die like that, uh, that claw sweeping forward in their death animation, can kill you. What's the word on the Primark? Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Uh, any bullets? Thermal clips? Yeah, okay. Feel, I feel better about that. Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Oh, I'd love to find trouble. You know me, Garrus. Shit. Damn it. Look at Palamon. That blaze of orange. The big one. 
That's where I was born. That's rough. You still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out? If they'd only listen to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Reapers are big, man. Ah! Oh, that's what James is blabbing on about. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards? Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. All right. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. Troops in that crash. 50? 75? Not sure. Sounds right. Hard to see if you're right. Oh. Oh. That was a little closer than I'd like. I'll say. Dang. So, Commander, you really think this summit will work? I mean, a sorry? Solarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the Genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Solarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Yeah, they certainly make you uh, feel like you're walking a long way. I mean, it, it's not like it's boring by any means, but I forgot that this journey was a little bit uh, okay, longer down. than I thought it was. No Reapers taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Hello. It is I, Commander Shepard. I have arrived. Is this not cover? There we go. Right, cannibal down. Cannibal down. It's the Marauder. Ooh! Hello! Uh, switch to my rifle here. Ooh! Oh, crap. I was being shot as well. Okay. Try that again. Get this marauder down. He has a, an ability that buffs allies. So we don't want that to happen. Oh, he exploded. Move into the compound. Moving. Right behind you. Oh, there he is. Way out there. Shields. Uh, 
That's a grenade. Brutes are kind of a fun enemy because they're not like, oh man, there's a brute, this is gonna mess me up, but they're also not like your standard enemy. They're kind of a, a really solid challenge. Uh, but yeah, that, that forward claw there is uh, still deadly, even though he's dead. Hand scope, med kit. Okay, that's what I wanted. Oh, he can do a roll move too. Please, please jump down. Just go through the middle here. Adrenaline rush. Trusty, trusty adrenaline rush. There's another brute back there. Shit. <laughs> please start on fire. And another one behind him. Oh my god. Brutal fight for us, James. Shit. Oh, James, you took the brunt of that. Okay, I'll go into cover. So my shields come back, then I'll revive James. Gotcha, buddy. Okay. Woo! Who else is left? Ow. That guy for sure. I feel like I'm getting shot by these uh, friendlies here. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately. Chair a summit to represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? 
failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Okay. I'm sorry, have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me. I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our lines would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. All right, well, let's check in with him. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then, you've got your hands full, Commander. Was there something else you needed to discuss? Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. All right. So, he's not kidding. We do have our hands pretty full. Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship. And for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibration. <laughs> Sounds like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavan. And mine with Earth. He's a cool guy. All right. No update to our uh, war assets. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean, offline? I don't know. She's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. Commander, comms systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. See if you can get to Edie. I'll check the AI core. All right. Something's something's going funky here.
Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me. But I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. On that, we can agree. <laughs> All right. So uh, Edie is now a crew member. Uh, she's a squad mate. We can take her out on missions because she took over that body. It's a fun little bit of uh, sci-fi goodness. Um. I was facing the wrong direction. I was so confused. Um, so, uh, just in this episode, our squad size has doubled. Uh, we've got Garrus, Edie, Liara, and James. Uh, so that is going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you for joining me. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye.